My, my, what a big subscription box you have. Yes, what's inside the new My Geek Box subscription box. Good news is, if you are a big bad wolf, you don't have to pose as Nana in order to get one of these subscription boxes delivered right to your door. Let me just stop for a second, just reiterate the dark tellings of Red Riding Hood. The big bad wolf has consumed Nana. She's inside his very large tummy right now. And the only way that Red Riding Hood does get Nana back into her life is that the woodsman from the forest has to cut open the big bad wolf's stomach. This is, of course, things that I would omit if I was to retell Red Riding Hood to my child. What happened to Nana? I would say she's hiding under the bed. Dark, dark tales these old nursery rhymes are. Nonetheless, though, gather around the campfire kidlins. Let me tell you a tale of my geek box. My geek box every single month delivers this gray box matter right to your door. And inside are contents containing such things as trade paperbacks, such things as figures, such things as t-shirts. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up. And if you fancy the stuff inside, might I just recommend that you maybe linger your way down in the video description and click the link down below and you can subscribe to my geek box today we're going to go ahead and get this opened up with my new knife chet cuttington the third ah yes chet cuttington making fewer and fewer appearances it seems as of late hopefully that will change a lot of dark things happening dark times happening in the world right now so of course we all have to be really really careful and uh, of course just watch out for one another just kind of keep an eye on one, one another Let's see what we got going on inside. The first thing we're going to be having a look at is the little DC Comics bombshells from the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment. We have dabbled into these before. Some, some of these have, unfortunately, uh, been ones I have not been able to acquire. So let's see if maybe opening up this one. I mean, that Batgirl, I'd love to get that Batgirl. And I don't recall up to this point if I've actually been able to acquire her yet. Let's see what we got going on inside here. I'm going to take the wrap off. I don't really need a knife for that. I want to also indicate to my younger viewers that not all the time does a knife solve your problems. In actual fact, if you just use this, that's your melon, your brain, you can realize quickly that you don't need a knife for every single problem out there. Let's see what we got going on here. We've got Bumblebee. Not, no, 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 not that Bumblebee. Does she transform? No, no, like I said, that's... It's a different bumblebee. I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up. I can tell you, I haven't gotten this one before. It's a nice looking bumblebee. Again, not Autobot. That's not the faction that she's involved in. You see that she is a cheerleader. Ra ra, sis boom ba. Can't even remember what the cheer was from our high school. Be aggressive. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think it was be aggressive. Be aggressive b a g g r e s s i v e that was our i wasn't obviously the cheerleader of part of the team i was one of the people sitting in the bench cheerleaders got to give mad props to those cheerleaders here we go we have like i said bumblebee very nicely dressed in yellow and black the stripings of what would be a bumblebee's colors there's the back of it right there. Nice looking figure. I don't have this one, so I'll be adding that to my personal collection. See what else we got going on in here. We got a t-shirt. Let's get a good gander at that. It's Legend of Zelda. I like the look of that already. And it's a side profile of one Zelda. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. That's a nice schwanky looking t-shirt. I like that it's also just a straight out black t-shirt. We don't have to get overly complicated with things. And then we've got almost like a crest. It looks like something like a coin, a coin collector's coin, just larger in size and printed in white. That's a nice looking, like I said, t-shirt. We can put that to the side. Maybe I'll wear that later today. This caught my fancy. This is the most popular beverage in the West, Sunset Sarsaparilla. I don't say sarsaparilla nearly enough, certainly when I say it correctly. I don't say it nearly enough in my everyday goings-on. Sarsaparilla, established 1918. Um, let's see, this is from Fanatic, with two T's and an I. Fallout metal plaque. Crazy Book Collectibles, visit us online at www.fanatic.com.co.uk, I should say. Very, very cool. 
We can put that up. I can certainly put that up maybe in my kitchen or downstairs, right above, perhaps, my little tiny bar fridge. I say bar fridge. Usually it contains things like kombucha and sodas. Yes, I say sodas. What else do we have in here? We've got the Cape Crusader Batman joining along his journeys with the other Justice League. There's the other ones on the back. I'm trying to actually think which ones I have now. I know I have Superman, Flash, I think I have now Batman now, obviously. And I think I have Green Lantern. I think the only one I'm missing from this equation is one Wonder Woman. And then my league will be complete. If your league only consists of five members, of course, all five would be accounted for. Nice little cute little stylized version of Batman from the folks over at Hero Cross. Let's see what else we have going on in here. We have one last thing. This is the mini heroes from Gentle Giant. We got ourselves a pretty interesting looking Deadpool. As you can see on the side, that's what the Deadpool looks like. I like that he's got all these little suction cup darts stuck to his head and stuck right onto the uh, dartboard behind him. That's what it looks like on the back. It's series one, collect them all. I don't know what other ones would be available, but I do like the stylized, very cute look of Deadpool. I'll have to put that out somewhere. Not really sure where though. And that actually, my friends and members of the mob, represents the majority of everything that was inside this month's box. What was your favorite item? We'll just move everything back here. Bring in all the characters, all the things and trinkets that we got inside this month's box. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think the best item was. I kind of like the t-shirts, and I feel like I'm warming more to the idea of putting this snazzy little plaque out on display. I think this one might be my favorite right here. Certainly let me know down below, though, if you could be so kind as to what you thought the best item was in this month's box. And again, if you guys are interested in subscribing to the My Geek Box, it's simply a case of clicking the link down below. No, no, you don't have to dress up as Nana to do that. Click the link down below and you can subscribe today. You can get next month's box delivered right to your house. Also, if you're feeling charitable right now, clicking things and subscribing to things, I would be pressed to say, perhaps, if you are in the market of doing that, maybe subscribe to this channel. Why not? If you like the guy's content, this guy's content, producer Tony, it does put money in his pocket because, because of course, of course, all the money that we are earning here goes into the expensive studio lights and the catering. And I have not been able really to check the invoices, but I, ha I do suspect that Tony is buying expensive lunch meats. We don't need expensive lunch meats, Tony. No, no, I know you can see me. Yeah, we don't need expensive deli meats. He's not even listening. Anyways, if you guys, like I said, want to subscribe to this channel, click the link down below. If you also want to move over to the bell notification, you can certainly do that as well. And stay tuned, because there's going to be a lot of videos, a lot of tons and tons of videos coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.